In this discussion, we will discuss the discussion question of what is a bond? Support accounting instruction by clicking the link below, giving you a free month membership to all of the content on our website, broken out by category, further broken out by course. Each course then organized in a logical, reasonable fashion, making it much more easy to find what you need than can be done on a YouTube page. We also include added resources such as Excel practice problems, PDF files, and more like QuickBooks backup files when applicable. So once again, click the link below for a free month membership to our website and all the content on it. So when considering the topic of bonds, this is probably one of the broadest types of questions that could be given in an essay format or discussion question type format. A couple different ways to approach a question like this. One would just be to first define uh, the bond and then probably get some characteristics of the bond and then possibly talk about how a bond might be recorded, journal entries related to the bond. A bond is going to be a written promise to pay an amount identified on the bond. So we're going to have the par value or the face amount of the bond plus any stated interest. So a bond is going to be an agreement to pay the par back plus any interest. It's going to be very similar to a note in that way in that uh, the idea would be that we would be trying to finance the company if we're going to be the issuer of the bond. We're going to issue bond in order to finance the company. We're going to receive payment in order and we're going to give a promise uh, to return the payment, typically to re return the, the principal and plus any interest uh, that's going to be stated on the bond. Bonds are usually going to be for uh, amounts of $1,000 bonds, possibly $5,000 bonds uh, are going to be uh, the amount types of each individual bonds. Uh, and then we can group them together and sell multiple bonds at, at particular times. So in essence, that's going to be what the bond is. Now we can get into different types of bonds and we can also get into the issuing of the bond. How would it be recorded? What would it mean to be recorded at a discount or a premium? Um, different types of bonds could include bonds that either are secured bonds or unsecured bonds. A secured bond would just mean that there's some type of asset, some type of collateral on the bond. So therefore, if, if there was no payment on the bond, then uh, the the collateral asset would then be compelled you can compel them to sell the, the asset and therefore uh, use the proceeds to pay off the bond so they're more uh, secured uh, secured bond are going to be safer type of bonds in that way whereas unsecured are not going to be supported by collateral uh, and therefore have be a bit more risky we can also have serial bonds which are going to be bonds which are unlike kind of a normal bond which has one maturity date a serial bond would have multiple dates uh, that it would typically be maturing in a series uh, of dates in the future. We can have uh, convertible bonds, uh, bonds that can be exchanged for shares of stock. We can convert the bonds if that's going to be some a type of bond. We can also have bonds that are callable and that would be a bond that we can we can call back uh, at, at a stated price before the maturity date. So those are just some other things that if we had a general question like this we can we can list out the different types of bonds that are there. It might also be useful for trying to pick up as many points as possible in something like this or just add discussion to a question like this to compare and contrast bonds to other types of financing options. And when a company issues a bond, what it's trying to do is make it's trying to get money for for you know whatever it needs for the for the business. Now obviously revenue would be the way we would like to do that to earn revenue. But if we need to finance the business in some other way, we have a few options. We can we can issue bonds or we can take out a loan from the bank, or we can uh, issue stock. And so we might want to compare and contrast bond financing to other types of financing just to try to pick up as many points and see what this type of question is looking for. And the bond financing is similar to taking out a loan. We're still going to have a note basically that we owe in the future. One of the main differences is that the bond we can, we can uh, give to the public. So we have the ability to sell bonds we might be able to sell bonds on an exchange even. Uh, whereas the a loan typically were restricted more to the bank. So it might be more possible therefore to raise more capital with bonds if we could sell the bonds uh, to the public. So that's gonna be one of the advantages of the bonds. Uh, one of the problems with bonds, which is similar to a note, is that we do have to pay back the interest and the principal on the bond. So we not, not only have to pay back the, the bond money that we get, 
uh, we have to pay back interest on or we have to pay back whatever we say is on the bond uh, at the end the par value the face amount plus the uh, interest on it whereas we would have to do the similar thing with a note we'd still have to pay back the note and the interest but if we were to finance with stock say then we wouldn't have that we can issue the stock and we get the money and we wouldn't have to pay back anything so what but why what's the bad thing about that of course the the stock we would be giving up ownership in in the company some type of ownership so so claims to the dividends uh, claims to the value of the company in, in case of liquidation the net assets of the company and some uh, voting and controlling rights we're giving up with the issuance of stock whereas bonds we don't do that we keep control uh, of the company we don't give away any of the of the of the value of the company or any of the purchasing or decision making power when we issue bonds but in order to issue bonds we have to give something and that something's going to be paying back the bonds plus the interest we're going to have to pay on the bonds now we, we might also discuss you know what the bond is going to go on the books for how are you going to record it what's a premium and what's a discount uh, just to pick up as many points as possible and uh, when you issue the bond we could issue it at par we could issue it at a premium we could issue it at a discount and all that means that is that if the bond say is going to have we have a thousand dollar bond and let's say the interest rate on the bond is 10 percent then the question is what are we going to sell those bonds for note you can't change these two things if it was a note we would change the interest rate and sell if we want a thousand dollar loan if we we're trying to get a loan we would say oh, i want i need a thousand dollar loan bank and they would say okay well let's let's haggle over the interest rate but here the interest rate's already on the bond if it's already been made so we can't haggle over the interest rate all we can haggle over is the price of the bond so if the market rate then is different if the market rate is say higher if somebody's trying to give me we're trying to get a thousand dollars from this person and the market rate is higher they can give their thousand dollars someone else and get 12 percent return as opposed to our 10. well then we're not going to be able to sell our bond unless we sell it at a discount so if the market rate is greater than uh, than the stated rate we're gonna have a discount if the market rate is less than then well, let's put it down here we're gonna say it's five percent well then someone can only go somewhere else and get five percent that's supposed to be a five by the way <laughs> and if they can only get five percent they're gonna want our bond for sure but we're not gonna sell it and give uh, ten percent of the thousand unless we we are able to sell it at a premium we would want more money so that's when we can have it uh, sold at a discount or premium if the market rate was the same then we would just sell it just like a kind of a note we would just say we'll pay the ten percent interest that's the market rate and one thousand if we made the bond just at the same date that we sold it we would try to shoot for the market rate and that would be the case if there's any difference between the date it was made and the date sold it's less likely that the market rate is going to equal the stated rate on the bond and then we're going to have to issue it for a discount or a premium